every surgeon has his own style of doing a surgery. This surgery is being done by my colleague Dr. Dibindu Shah. This is the right side port and this is the left side port of the main incision not yet constructed. And now he takes visco, fills up the anterior chamber through the left side port, fixes the eye by the same cannula and does the main incision. All the incisions are on the posterior aspect of the limbus that is very good, healing is much better when you make the incisions on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now keeping the eyeball stable, he takes a cystitome and does the rexis through the right side port. And now, hydrodissection is done and now see what happens. How many golden rings you can see in this case? You will see very shortly, very clear, yes, you can see there are four golden rings, beautiful. And now we can see this cataract is about uh, having grade 3 nuclear sclerosis and he is going to do direct job. He makes two, three sculpts and then does the job, a piece comes out, emulsifies that, then the other rest of the lens mass is divided into pieces and in no time he manages the nucleus. So in less than two minutes, so many steps are done, very expert, very efficient, very competent surgeon. And now cortical cleanup. This is a white bore Simcoe cannula so that the cleaning of cortex is fast. This is 20 on G Simcoe cannula and see how quickly he uh, know, removes the cortex. Done. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. It's going to use a B cartridge. So enlarge the main wound a bit. I think it is not enough. Let us see. Yes, the lens doesn't go. The lens is stuck. So when you use a B cartridge, the wound has to be increased to about three millimeter. So it was probably 2.9 and the lens got stuck in the wound as it came out. Actually the tip of the cartridge cannot be engaged properly if the wound is very small, if the cartridge is B cartridge. So he is loading the lens again or it is being loaded by the sister. You know, this is a smart step. Enlarge the wound a little bit more, one more cut. And now the lens will go. Yes, very nicely engaged. And here goes the lens. The irrigating cannula supports the anterior surface of the lens. And this is a Sinsky hook which pushes the trailing haptic in the anterior chamber. It takes a Sinsky hook, dials the leading haptic in the, dials the trailing haptic in the capsular bag. Moxie and now he hydrates the side ports. The main wound also has been hydrated at one side and now this is a final lavage and formation of the anterior chamber by the Simco itself. And now he is going to check whether the wounds are okay, whether there is any leakage from anywhere or not, no leakage. And now he does this, puts a drop of 
5 percent pobidona iodine and concludes the case. Thank you very much for your attention.